Hi, this is World War Prime, and I'm here to talk about the racial incident not too long ago, just a second ago, not too long ago, uh, racial incident, and by police. Fed small town police chief said black people were like ISIS and wished he could mow them down. Now, personally, I always observed this, and I realized what kind of what kind of stigma they was trying to put on black people a long time ago. That we was just like ISIS, like like I said seven times in my videos that that um this country America is shooting black people like with the Palestinians. Okay, now you got this. This officer talking about uh, where we're just like ISIS, okay? And that's what happens when you take a lot of guns, you put guns in your in your um, culture and think it's cool, and and you think you think a uh, gun gives you power, gives you money. You see all these rap videos, all these females inside. These rap videos with guns and money and people throwing money up in the air talking about money and your thing. It's all mind control. It's all mind manipulation. And they're getting you in, in the form of uh, barbarism. Uh, uncivilized people. Uh, violent people. And the small town uh, sheriff said it best when he said uh, that he thinks that African Americans are just like freaking ISIS. Okay, this is how the world is seeing us and if, if, if it's like that, okay, and that is, that is really a fucking problem in my opinion. And African Americans are hard working people. They try to do things good, but there's too many bad apples and this little basket in the black community so we are being stereotyped as some kind of uh, foreign invader or some kind of uh, troublemaking race and they, and people are falling for this with this mind control in these movies like um, uh, King of New York and um, uh, these gangster movies that black people try to emulate all the time and don't know what the hell they're doing Okay, and as simple as that, they are mind controlling us to be criminals and terrorists and sterilize, sterilize, stereotyping our race to be in the form of uh, ISIS type people. Okay, and I, I probably, am I, am I kidding? I see this developing in our race. It's not a joke. It's not some rumor. It's getting larger and larger and larger to the military. We have no no choice but to come in here and deal with the so-called African American in this country. Now, don't get me wrong. These people, are, nobody knows how they're getting these weapons. They don't know how they how these uh, big-time drug dealers and big-time um, gun runners get these damn weapons. Okay, these weapons are military grade. They're all up in Chicago. They're in St. Louis. Uh, people are being warned not to go to certain portions of St. Louis and Baltimore because they are crime written and poverty, and black people can't find a job. And at the same time, they are being taught inside their community that the working man is a sucker. <laughs> Okay, and as simple as that, and it's ridiculous, and working in the black community is not a positive thing. If you are a nine to five person, you're seen as a square. If you are, if you, if you make your money on the street, you're seen as a pimp and a movie star. If you, if you selling drugs on the street, you are seen as a player, a pimp, and the girls love you. Okay, don't know you know that we are setting ourselves to be fucking murdered. Murdered. Took off the planet. Okay? 
This goes for South, South, uh, this goes for the, the brothers and sisters overseas who are Afro-Russian, Afro-European, Afro-Australian, and all stuff like that. And all the focus is on the African-American to show that how uncivilized uh, black people really are. Okay, and as simple as that, and this this chief said it best. It remind we remind people of freaking ISIS, and as soon as they 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 uh get rid of ISIS and so forth and so on, they will find another race to hate, and usually is the African American, and they will put us in this realm of being ISIS. And since we got so many guns inside the hood. We can actually um, live up to this mantra or this stereotype. Alright, and as simple as that. Okay, what ISIS is doing for the God, God for black African Americans mostly, people that's in the streets, is money. Okay, and, and what this chief said might be racist, might be disgraceful, and might be all that stuff like that, but it's not far from the fucking truth. Okay, we are offering ourselves in record numbers. We are killing ourselves in record numbers, and nobody knows how we get in the damn fucking guns. And it's amazing we don't got freaking goddamn RPGs out there shooting at people. Okay, or killing people. <clears throat> Alright, sooner or later ISIS sooner or later ISIS the enemy, uh, uh, all these Islamic uh, nations will be the enemy, and sooner or later, since we associate with with Islam for so freaking some freaking reason, which was not our religion, was forced upon us as well as Christianity was forced upon us. We're gonna be looking like ISIS because you could tell in some of these like the Israelite church, you're talking about the the nation of Islam. The whole fake the the five percenters, the whole focus is hating the white man. Okay, this is a setup. <laughs> okay, and as simple as that. I know you know about slavery. I know you know about what uh, police uh, brutality and all that stuff like that. And I know you you having trouble finding jobs and stuff like that. But in the end, it's still a setup by the people who want black people. To be killed, okay, and as simple as that. Your music, your culture, the way you way you look at your videos, music videos, and so forth and so on, they're all set up to stereotype you throughout the world to be killed as an enemy, okay, and as simple as that. And the reports of having many black people in prison, more than any race, like seventy percent, maybe eighty percent, black people in prison. It's just another degradation to the world to show that you're out of control. Okay? Main reason that black people need their own fucking country. So they don't have to fucking goddamn go through this shit. And they will go through it over and over and over again until the world starts seeing you as ISIS and tries to kill you and hate you for the rest of your... till slavery come back. Till they have a reason to put us back into slavery. Now, I'm going to read this... Uh, this this uh, news clipping, and and you'll find out what this sheriff was talking about. Uh, was saying, a former police chief of a primarily white small town in New Jersey said African Americans has no value where like ISIS and suggests putting them before a firing squad. Federal authorities alleged this week. Federal authorities have arrested Frank. Syria Jr., who until recently was chief of Borton Town Township Police Department. They allege the now retired officer refers to African Americans using various racial slurs and instructing his officers to possess post position police dogs at high school basketball games to intimidate African Americans, according to a criminal complaint unsealed on Wednesday. Yashira, which probably is a town I can't pronounce the damn thing, is 60. He's facing a hate crime charge and a federal civil rights charge. FBI Special Agent Vernon Edition 
wrote in the affidavit that Nishira had a significant history of making racial comments concerning African Americans to whom he frequently referred to as the N-word. And the, Itali the Italians derive racial slurs for African Americans. One of Nishira's officers made numerous recordings of Nisira that contains a stream of offensive racist comments over the course of the year because he was alarmed by Nisira's race, racism according to the affidavit. The federal charges of against Nisira related to September 1st, 2016 police accounting involved in an 18-year-old African-American man and a 16-year-old African-American girl. A hotel manage call, manager called the police because he said the pair hadn't paid to the pair hadn't paid for their hotel room, and the night before were swimming in the hotel pool. The FBI affidavit state that their encounter with police escalated into a physical struggle, that both teens resisted arrest, and that one of the officers used pepper spray. After both teens were handcuffed, Nishira alleged to grab the 18-year-old head, head and slammed it into the right side of the metal door jam. According to the affidavit, an officer heard the 18-year-old head make a loud thud as it hit the door jam. The feds alleged officer said the 18-year-old wasn't resisting when Nasira slammed his head, but had stopped walking for a moment to, loud, to loudly complain. The use of the force wasn't reported to the department. Hours after the assault, Nasira was recorded telling an officer he was fucking tired of African Americans. I tell you what. It's going to get to the point where I could shoot one of these motherfuckers. Nasira Orlea just said, and that the N-word bitch lady, she almost got it. He said, referring to the 16-year-old girl's aunt, who was presented at the arrest. Fucking nipple hanging bitch. I'm so tired of them, man. Nasira alleged said that the black, the black people should stay the fuck out of boarding town, and referred to the 18 year old as a fucking little, a fucking little, fucking n word. In the separate incident notes in a report that occurred in November 2015, Nasira said he wished an African American from Trenton who. He believed that slash his tires of a police vehicle would give him a reason to put my hands on him. These N words are like ISIS. They had no value. Nasira alleged said they should line them up, all of them up, and mold them down. I like to be on a firing squad. I could do it. I used to think about it. I used to think of it of I could shoot one of or or not. I could do I could do it. I'm tired of it. The sheriff also intruded police officers to bring canines to certain games and position the canine vehicles at entrances of the gymnasium in order to intimidate African American patrons. According to the FBI in another incident Nisira alleged told an officer to walk a police dog through the apartment complex so African Americans residents could see him. William Fitzpatrick, New Jersey acting top federal prosecutor, said in a statement that Nisira dishonored the profession and harbored intense racial animosity and senseless hatred of African Americans. The conduct alleged is a shocking breach of duty of every officer to provide equal justice under the law and never to mistreat a person in custody, Fitzpatrick said. Steve Biswick, the mayor of Borden, Borden Town Township said in a statement sent to Huffington Post on Wednesday, 
afternoon that charges are limited to one person and are not <coughs> indicative of Border Towns Township Police Department or the township as a whole. He called the charges abhorring, abhorrent, and said it was important to note that they began from a self report complaint from within a town police department. That would be nice. That would be true. That would be outstanding if it was an isolated incident. The only problem is he was the chief of the damn police. <laughs> okay? Border Town has about 11,000 people in is located south of Trenton and a little over an hour outside Philadelphia. Trenton reports in January that New Sierra was mysteriously MIA and that officers said that the police chief had retired amid rumors that he was under a criminal investigation. His salary was reported to be $147,724 per year. The federal courts do not indicate that Nishira has an attorney. There is currently an active chief in place of Bordentown, where his son, Frank Nishira III, is serving a traffic surgeon. So, I think that's it. And this is what we are borderline on as African Americans. Our antics and our our uh, collective uh, 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 breach of law throughout the United States is making us look like ISIS, a potential ISIS or baby-sized ISIS before we attack to the point we had to defend ourselves. And when we defend ourselves, it's going to get worse. <sighs> okay, because the military going to look like the good guys. All right, they're gonna be storming inside the projects. They're gonna be storming inside black neighborhoods. They're gonna be storming in there and shit like that, and and attacking black people. Okay, this is just a smidgen of what a lot of Caucasians think about black people, and it's a damn freaking shame that that's the way they think. We've been we've been button heads for damn near 400 years. You think we'll find some freaking common ground? <laughs> I mean that'd be obvious, right? No, but one per one 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 people is on doing overtime to discredit the value of the African Americans and the other is just laying about laying down and taking it. They're not doing nothing about their situation. Their leaders are freaking stagnated. They don't do nothing but talk about the same freaking thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, and hope to to gain emotion out of these what they talk about by talking heavy, talking racial, talking mean and shit like that. You better not do this. You better not do that. You better not do this. You better not do that. We need our rights. We need this right. We need that rights. We need that right. Instead of doing the logical thing that we need to be done to make sure this never happens again. They won't even tread on such goddamn grounds. I guarantee you that. Alright, and that, that necessary thing is we have to scout out and create our own land base. Our own government. Our own system. Our own monies. Our own flag. And all that stuff like that. Which these people are not even thinking about. You can't have an African American flag and don't have land to put it on. Okay, and as simple as that. All nations have a flag, but they got land to put it on. These people are kind of productive, these leaders, and they what they're gonna do is have a bunch of black people. I mean white people are gonna get so fucking fed up with black people and their culture and the way of life and stuff like that and all the stuff that's affecting these white people's children, and it's pissing them off, I guarantee you that. <clears throat> They're going to come out of us and start killing us off with the military. And the police. Smain Blash.
This is World War Prime News. I'm out.